Energy is the basis for everything. It's the basis for our lives. We can't survive without energy. What is this thing we talk about, energy? And why does it matter so much? It matters because it defines who we are. It matters because it defines where we work, how we get there, what we invent. In fact, how we use energy and how much energy we use is the defining element of modern civilization. U.S. energy use has been heading upward inexorably since the country's founding. And it's always been a challenge to find the right way to supply that energy. The problem is that people don't know anything about where energy comes from. We believe electricity is invisible. That means I flick my switch, and I don't believe in my mind that there's a fuel behind that. We've been faced with challenges that should have forced us to make changes in the way we deal with energy for decades. But we still have big problems. We're vulnerable to oil prices around the world, and we continue to pump enormous amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. It's really about the profound impacts that we are having now 7 billion people, the doubling of the need of energy on this planet over the course of the next few decades, with more people living more prosperous lives, trying to do more things. The pressure is on. We need to change the way we power our economy in a way that's sustainable for 200 years, not just for the next 20. There is a disconnect between our value about using energy and our unwillingness to change our own personal behavior. We've got to get on with it. We've got to break the gridlock over this and move forward with the choices, trade-offs, technologies that are required. We need to start working on this issue now. In the end, it has to come down to having a rational plan for our use. Let's be reasonable. Let's find a compromise. Let's find a way out of this. The question is whether that will be our priority or not. And that's the challenge.